Today I'm going to be showing you how we can turn an ordinary crochet square into an absolutely adorable little crochet bunny rabbit. Now this project is super simple. If you can single crochet back and forth in rows, then you can make this little bunny. Materials wise, for these little bunnies, you can use any yarn, any color, any weight. I simply advise that you go down a hook size from what the yarn recommends. This will ensure that your stitches stay nice and tight. I've been using a double knit yarn for my bunnies and therefore I've been using a three and a half millimeter hook, which is half a hook size smaller. You're also going to need some ready-made pom-poms or you could of course make your own from yarn, some stitch markers, a large eye darning needle, a scrap of pink yarn for embroidering these little bunny noses, some black yarn for embroidering little bunny eyes. If you prefer to use safety eyes, you can. However, I found that they're not particularly stable. So if you want to use your bunnies for anything other than just a static decoration, I would advise embroidering on the eyes, which I'll show you how to do later in this video. You're also going to need some scissors, and of course, a tiny little bit of polyfill stuffing. All right, let's leap straight on in. So with my double knit yarn and my three and a half millimeter crochet hook, I'm going to pop a slip knot onto my hook. Then chain 26. Once you have your 26 chains, we're going to begin by working into the second chain from the hook. Now this loop on your hook doesn't count as anything. You only want to count these fully formed chains hanging down below, so one, two. And I'm also going to work into the back bump of my chains. Now this is entirely optional. I just find it gives a neater finish to the top and bottom of my work, but work into whichever part of the chain you find easiest. So for me, that is the back bump and I'm going to work a single crochet into the second chain from my hook. Now work a single crochet into every chain all the way down to the end. So single crochet into every chain. For row two, you're going to chain one, turn your work, and work a single crochet into every stitch all the way back down the row. Now that chain one does not count as a stitch. You want to work your very first single crochet into the top of that single crochet where you just chained from. So single crochet into every stitch all the way back down the row.
For row three, we're going to repeat that exact same row all over again. And we are going to keep repeating that row until you have made a square. Now, the number of rows that's going to take will differ from person to person. How you can tell you have made a square is when your finished piece, if you fold it diagonally, it will be a nice, neat triangle on both sides. That's how you know you've made a square. So we're going to keep repeating that last row. Chain one, turn, single crochet into every stitch all the way along. And keep doing that until you have a square. So I'm just finishing up here and seeing if my square is square and yep that's a pretty good close match. So once you're happy with the size of your square to finish once you've done your very last stitch chain one leave a tail for weaving in afterwards and snip your yarn pull that up out and now we're ready to create our bunnies. So the first thing you're going to do is fold your square up so it is forming a rectangle. You want to crease that down so you can clearly see a mark along the central line of your square. Now pop a stitch marker into either side so you know that is the halfway point of your square. It's just a rough guide you don't need to be too perfect now the next thing you're going to do is fold your square the other way and you're going to pinch it at the top open it back out again and that area where you pinched it pop your stitch marker in there So now you have marked out these three spots on your square. Grab yourself a nice long length of the same yarn that you have used to make your square. We're going to be sewing up to create the bunny's head and body. So you want a nice long length of yarn. Grab a large eye darning needle and you're going to thread your yarn onto the needle. So use the same yarn for sewing that you used to create this square. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, it's going to be very difficult for you to see what I'm doing when I use the same yarn. So I am going to use a contrasting yarn, but it's so you can clearly see what I'm doing. So we're going to start at this point where you have done your first mark. And I'm gonna pop my needle into that row. Now you're going to create a very basic running stitch over in a straight line to this other side marker. You do not need to be massively neat. You don't need to worry if you are using the same color yarn, you will not be able to see your stitches. So you want to pull through a nice generous length, leave a tail, do not knot it, just leave one tail hanging out on this side. Now I'm just going to rotate my work slightly because it's easier for me to work, but I'm going to do a very basic running stitch all the way over to this green yarn. This is where my, me being left-handed is a bit of an issue <laughs> when it comes to filming. So I'm just doing a really basic running stitch. You can take your time and be super neat if you want to. 
but you just want just some stitches running across. Okay, so take your time, be a bit neater than me. So I have sewn a very basic running stitch, quite unevenly, all the way over to this second marker. I can now take this one out. Now we want to run this thread up in a diagonal line to this midpoint up here. Again, don't worry about being too neat, just aim roughly a diagonal up to this midpoint here. So I'm just going to come back in and very roughly aim for over here. Again, you don't need to be too neat. You don't need to be too precise. Just eyeball it. So here I am, I'm coming up at around this, oh look, bang on. <laughs> I was gonna say at around that stitch marker point, but apparently I got it bang on. I won't be able to do that again, I guarantee you. But as I say, it doesn't need to be perfect, just a rough diagonal line. Now you can remove that stitch marker. And now you want to bring this back down to where we started. So where your tail is hanging out. We move so many yarn tails going on here. You want to come back down in a diagonal line back to where you started. Again, just eyeball it. You don't need to be too precise. There we go, and I'm going to pop back out in the same stitch that I started in. Now, as I say, you're using the same colour yarn. You probably can barely see your stitches. But this is what you want to have. You want to have come across, gone up and come back down. Now, grab your two yarn tails. Hold on to both of them. And we're going to cinch, cinch your square. See, I'm pulling one side, then I'm pulling the next side just to cinch it in. And you'll see you'll get a bubble forming at the front, like a little circle. So just push that one forward for a moment. And you can see you've cinched yourself a little hole. And this will be our little bunny's face here, right at the front. So as you cinch it closed, there's your little bunny face. Now grab a little bit of polyfill stuffing. And we're going to pop this into this front hole here. As you stuff, your stitches will probably just come loose again. That's fine, don't worry. Just don't lose either end of the tail. Just want to pop a bit of stuffing into that little section. Then pull your tails again to cinch it back up. You can have a look at the front to make sure you've got enough padding in that little face. Now, if you wanted to add safety eyes, as I have here, this is the point at which to add them. Now, I've found safety eyes are not very secure on this little bunny. 
So I will show you in this tutorial how to embroider eyes instead. But if you were using safety eyes, this is the point at which to add them. So what I did for my safety eyes when I had them. So if you have your safety eyes, if that's what you want to use, you want to mark where they're going to go whilst you have a bit of stuffing. We're just loosely working out where you want them to go first whilst the stuffing is in the bunny's head. Once you're happy with that placement, that's the point at which you can take the stuffing out. I'm holding those little eyes in place. Take the stuffing back out, pop the safety eye backs on, then restuff. However, for this tutorial, I will show you embroidered eyes because I feel they're a little bit safer for this bunny. I'm just popping the stuffing back in. I'm cinching. Closed again, here we go. Make sure all the stuffing is in the head. You don't want to add too much stuffing and overly stretch your stitches. So just a little bit, so it's a little bit squishy. Not too firm, not too soft. Then once you are happy, pull these two tails as tightly as you can. There will still be a tiny little hole there. Don't worry about that. And then you want to knot these two tail ends. So cinch it up as tightly as you can. Pop in one knot, pull it tight. That might be tightly enough that that little hole closes, but if it isn't, don't worry. Then knot it again. Third time's a charm. So you've got it nice and secure and your little bunny head Got his stuffing. Got his little ears. Now, if you're like me, your yarn needle came off your yarn. <laughs> so if that's the case, you can simply thread it back on. Now with this other tail from your knot, you can just lay that into the inside of the rabbit for now. Might trim the end of that a little bit just so it doesn't get too much in our way. So I'm just tucking one end into this loose bit at the bottom. And then what we're going to do is if you have a little tiny hole showing in the back of the head like I have here, we're just going to sew that up fractionally. And I'm just picking up, you don't need to be too precise. And again, you're using the same yarn to sew it so you won't see any of these stitches just pick up a couple of stitches on one side, a couple of stitches on the other, wherever you can pop your needle. And then moving up, just grabbing some little loops, the stitches from one side, and then the other. And I'm just ensuring that little hole stays completely closed. There we go. Now we're going to sew down the back of your rabbit. So you want to this loose bit at the bottom to marry up these two edges here, these ears out of the way. And we're going to sew these two edges together. Now you can use whatever stitch you so wish. If you want to do a a whip stitch, mattress stitch, whatever stitch you want to do, we're going to sew these two raw edges to here. Leave the bottom open, just sew along this little line here using that same strand of yarn that we've been using the whole way. I'm turning mine the other way because I am naturally left-handed. So even though I crochet with my right hand, I still sew with my left. <laughs> so I'm just coming down and I'm just going to be sewing these two edges together.
So I have sewn all the way down to the bottom section here. Just pull this a little bit more snug. If you pull it nice and tightly as well, like I just did then, the little bunny head will go upwards a little bit more. So I always like to give it just that one little snug down. Flatten everything out. So I've made it all the way down to the bottom here. Now we have this little opening again, stuff the little body of the bunny. Not too much stuffing. You don't want to stretch out your stitches. Just pop in some stuffing. And once you're happy with this stuffing, pick up your yarn and your needle again. And we are, I'm just going to pop that end tail in there. We're now going to go around these bottom stitches here. And again, just a very simple running stitch. And I'm just going to pick up the front loop of each of these stitches. So I'm just going in the front loop front loop, front loop all the way around. Just picking up that front loop all the way around. Again, you don't need to be too precise. You could just do it like this if you wanted to, or I'm just rotating my needle around to pick up those front loops. Whatever works for you. Again, don't need to be too fussy. None of this will be seen. Just making my way around here to the final stitch. And then once you have picked up more or less every single one of those stitches, go ahead and pull it tight to cinch this bottom closed. If you wanted to add more stuffing, this is the point at which to do it. I quite like leaving the bottoms a little bit unstuffed because then you can mold them for getting them to sit. So I kind of like to create a bit of a flat bottom for mine. Then once you are cinched nice and closed, we're just going to do a couple of stitches just to pull this central hole completely tight. And if you've got a little bit of a gap here, again, we just want to run a few stitches just to completely close up this bottom. Again, however it works for you, you don't need to worry too much. Just chuck in a few stitches. So I've put in a couple of stitches that way. I'm going to put in a couple of stitches running in this direction. And then on my final stitch, I'm going to create a knot. So before I pull that loop completely closed, put my needle in it and just create a little knot. And I'm going to do that a couple of times just to really secure this down. I'm just going to make a couple of little knots here. Then once that is completely cinched shut, I'm going to take my yarn and my needle and I'm going to go into a stitch nearby and bring it out somewhere up in the body of my rabbit. Pull that through, pull it taut, snip that yarn end and it should spring back into the body. 
gone. Now there should just be one more end to weave in and that is this for the little ear so go ahead and do that quickly. And again, you can hide that end just in the body of your rabbit. So I've gone in, I'm going to pop out somewhere else on the body, pull it through, snip that end. So your basic bunny shape is now complete. So I'm going to show you now how to embroider some eyes and a cute little nose. So grab yourself some scraps of yarn in pink and black. I'm using quite a chunky yarn just to save myself on too many stitches, but grab whatever you have to hand. So we're going to do the eyes first. So I'm gonna pop my sort of quite thick black yarn onto my needle. And I'm gonna come in from the back of the head and I'm going to bring my needle out roughly where I want my eyes, about here-ish. So I'm just going to pull that through. I'm not knotting it at the back. I'm just going to leave this tail hanging out and loose. That way, if you need to undo any of your embroidery, you absolutely can nice and easily. Then I'm going to come down by like a stitch, just make a little line and then bring my needle out roughly where I want the other eye, sort of over here-ish. It's not very ish. You can pop your eyes wherever you want your eyes to be. It can be close together, far apart. It could be little sleepy eyes, be little happy eyes, whatever you want to do, little French knots. Then I'm going to do another straight line. That's just my guideline there. And I'm going to come back up to where I went in to finish off this second eye. So I've only started that first one. I haven't actually finished it. Then if you want to add another stitch or two until you're happy with the eyes, again, totally personal preference. However, you want to do your eyes is totally up to you. I'm just going to do three. And then when I'm happy, I'm going to come back to that first eye and do the same thing. So that's one little eye done. I'm going to do the same on this one. I'm just going to turn them upside down. Then, oops, then as this is going to be my final stitch, I'm going to bring my needle out at the back here where I first popped it in. straight out in the same spot. Make sure I'm just happy with the eyes. Yep, that'll do. And then at the back here, I'm going to make a little knot. Now I'm not going to pull it too tightly because if I pull this too tightly, it's going to pull on the embroidery of the eyes. So I'm just making a little knot here, being quite gentle. And then just as before, I'm going to pop my needle back in and come out at some point somewhere on the body. For one tail, do the same with the other tail. There we go. And then pull it taut before you snip it and it will spring back into the body. Then thread up your pink and we can make a little cute nose. Exactly the same, come in from the back, 
pop out wherever you want the nose to be. Now I'm going to have my nose coming across here. So I'm just going to come up in between the eyes. Again, leave it a bit hanging out of the back. I'm going to do a straight line, do a couple of, just like a little guide here, doing a very simple nose. You can get fancier if you want to. So I'm just going to do another couple, just like I did with the eyes. A couple of stitches back and forth. And then with the final stitch, I'm going to bring my needle out down underneath in a straight line down underneath. So that's my nose done. I've come out underneath the nose and then I'm going to go in underneath that nose and bring it straight out the back of the bunny's head again. And just as before, not quite loosely, but snug in close, but loosely, and then run these tails off through the body and snip them. Now the last thing to do is you can either make a pom-pom or buy these little craft pom-poms. Sit your bunny down. So I'm sitting with his bottom flat. And then you can add the little pom-pom to the back. So when he sits, he's leaning on his pom-pom tail. It's like this one here. I've just lined it up with the bottom so it sits there. You can glue these on or you can sew them on. It's totally up to you. I'm going to use a sharper needle for the sewing of this little pom-pom. And then as a final flourish, you can either tie a little bit of ribbon around the bunny's neck, which looks absolutely adorable. Or you can, of course, just use some yarn or make some little chains. I'm just going to use some yarn here. I'll use the pink yarn that I sewed them up with. Oops. Punching the camera at the same time. What a professional I am. <laughs> just going to tie him a little little yarn bow here. Oh my gosh, he's too adorable. This one's too adorable. I can't handle it. And your tiny little rabbit from a square is complete. Now these are just too cute for words. I can't handle how adorable these are. They look really sweet with embroidered eyes. They look really cute with little safety eyes. But as I mentioned, they're not the most secure because you need such tiny safety eyes. So use those at your peril. But they work really nicely with obviously a solid yarn like this one. So you can have classic sort of bunny colors or you can have little fantasy colored bunnies. These are just adorable. Look at them. Look at their little faces. They look like they've done something wrong. They're so sweet. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you go on to make yourself cute little bunnies from squares of your own. So until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.